Now we're, we're going to launch on something that we will be talking about to some degree throughout this course. is the idea of complexity, problem size, and then leading to running time. Let me, let me say uh, in advance, uh, this is a very applied computer science slash engineering oriented topic. I, I'm not trying to outdo your computer science profs on this. Uh, we're, we're doing this within the, the framework of a mathematics course, so if, if I don't say something exactly the way one of your profs in, in a computer science does, bear with me. So we want to have the idea of a problem size. You'll be asked to do something, or we're required to do something. Our job makes us do it. Our professor makes us do it. And you start with the notion that jobs have a size. So there's a problem size, which is usually in the form of there's a certain amount of information which you must absorb before you can begin to work on the problem. And usually it's in, in the form of that, that you read some data which comes to you in packets. Now, uh, the notion of a packet is, uh, think of a, a cell phone or uh, uh, cell phone signals are sent in packets. Here's a blob, here's another blob, here's another blob. The blob is some small stuff. If, if it was an ASCII symbol, it's a, it's, a, it's a certain string of zeros and ones which has some bounded length, 5 or 8 or 12 or 16. Packet size is some blob. And then how many blobs do you have to read? That's your problem size. And I comment that when you're working within most modern programming languages where you have a data type called an integer, then there's always a max integer. That within this data type, you cannot consider integers bigger than some size. And usually that has to do with a, whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. Nobody runs compilers anymore with 16-bit, but 32-bit and 64-bit are, are used extensively. And usually, in most compilers, the size of what is meant by max int is dependent on whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. But within that constraint, reading a little integer and reading a big integer is the same. And that's a packet. So if I'm going to read a bunch of integers, how many integers? You only count one for each integer. Whether you read six digits or 16 digits, it still counts one. All right, so what does it mean to have a running time? So uh, an algorithm is going to input, receive as input, a problem. And that problem will involve reading data of size n. And then it's going to carry out some process, a procedure. And that procedure will take steps. And each step will be considered a unit. And wh what is meant by the unit? Uh, again, I want to be a little vague about that because it depends on the setting. Uh, each step could be making just a comparison between two numbers. Or is A equal B? That could be a step. A step could be adding two numbers together. A step could be multiplying two numbers together. A step could be getting on a jet plane, flying to Moscow, having a meeting with the uh, international affairs officer, getting back on the jet plane, flying back to America and reporting your information. That could be one. OK, so what is meant by a step? is highly dependent on the problem, and it is not a well-defined concept. It, it only makes sense in context. But regardless, it's going to be very, very important from both a theoretical standpoint and an applied standpoint for us to be able to compare two functions and say, one of them is bigger than the other one. One of them is better than the other. One of them runs faster than the other. 